Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am in the midst of cleaning up after all this Christmas festivities and dinners and presents and I'm getting ready to make a run for Whole Foods because this lady has got to start eating clean. I have really, really been bad this holiday. But let's get into why we're here. Today I want to share with you a small La Mer haul. And the reason that I really want to share this with you is because, at least for me, La Mer is a totally a new brand. I had not really tried any of their products at all and really had no intentions of doing so because of the price point. During the, the last Sephora VIB sale, I did go ahead and ordered the foundation and that was the downfall, my friends. That was the downfall. So let me go ahead and share with you what I've picked up and uh, we'll go from there. I picked these up at Saks Fifth Avenue and also at Nordstrom's through Erin Nicole, but I just stuffed them all into this little bag just so they're all together. And like I mentioned, the first thing that I tried from La Mer was the Soft Fluid Foundation. I bought this actually from Sephora during their VIB sale and I really, really liked it. The only issue was I think I bought the wrong color. So I happened to be in Saks when they were having their triple points day and I stopped at the La Mer counter, mistake number one, to have them color match me. And sure enough, I had purchased the wrong color. So after trying a couple of them, we settled on another one and I went ahead and purchased it. And I have been wearing the foundation since I bought it from the Sephora VIB sale and then with the different color ones I was color matched and I love it. I feel that it goes really, really nicely on my skin. I think it is a medium coverage foundation and which is really what I like to wear, but I find it to just be very, very smooth and light and I really, really love it. So I originally bought the Dune 21A color from Sephora, which is this one right here. And I did use it for about seven days and I did love it, but I wasn't really sure about the color. I thought it was a little too yellow. Then when I went to Saks, I got matched and the color that I liked was this one, which is neutral 22 which is what i am wearing today and i love it so i want to try and exchange this at sephora i did go to my local sephora and they were actually very nasty and told me that they don't carry it and pretty much just wouldn't help me so i'm going to call customer service but anyhow la mer soft fluid foundation absolutely love it and so I picked it up in this uh, neutral 22 color. Love it. All right, now the rest of the products I have not even opened. I have not even tried. I just wanna share them with you. So if you have already used them or if you have experience with them, please leave me your comments in the section down below. I would love to hear what you think. So the first one that I picked up is the foundation brush. I haven't even unpacked this. Let's get this open. And I, you know, I am I am happy because these are these are not real animal hair, so I'm happy about that and this is what it it comes packaged like this. It's got a little protective plastic over it. And oh my goodness, they are really, really packed. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. It's just, it's a white handle. It says La Mer at the bottom. And oh my goodness, they are the softest, softest brushes. Wow. I cannot wait to try this. So this is supposed to be the foundation brush. 
and I've been using a Bobbi Brown foundation brush, which I am perfectly happy with, but I was dying to try this one after the uh, manager at Saks used it on me to put on my makeup. So mistake number two, getting my makeup done at Saks. Next product onto in the bag is this right here and this is another brush this is the powder brush and i actually have been salivating after this brush i've been seeing so many people on youtube use it and it looks just absolutely scrumptious it's just it's just so it looks so luxurious it is so so beautiful and i cannot wait to try this one and again same packaging just Oh, look at this. This is so, so beautiful. It is so soft. It is full, full of hair. Love it. I think the, I think the hairs on this side may be a little bit longer, but anyhow, wow. It is just beautiful. What a stunning brush. I just, it just, I just cannot wait to try this. I cannot wait to try this. I hope that it is as good as it looks and feels. The next product I purchased is this right here. And this is the La Mer powder. This is their loose powder. Again, tried it on when they were doing my makeup and really liked how it looked on my skin and decided to have Erin Nicole order it for me. And let's check it out. And this is really not me. I, I, I do, I spend a lot of money on bags, but I generally don't go crazy with the makeup, but here we are. So inside you have a little booklet, La Mer, the powder and we'll have to see what it says and then inside you have this beautiful beautiful packaging silver top and a glass container and let's see you open it up and you have a little poof right here and you have the protective little plastic here so that the powder doesn't go all over the place. So yeah, can't wait to try this. And I will certainly let you know what I think of all of these products once I am actually using them on an everyday basis. And of course, if you are already using them or if you have already used them, please, please, let me know what you think. And the last thing that I purchased was this right here, which was another small fortune. And this is the Lifting Eye Serum. And this is a half a fluid ounce. Just, he tried it on me. I really, really liked it. And I guess I was swept in the moment of triple points and purchased it because I have been using for under my eyes, evening and night, I have been using the Sunday Riley, the corrector, and it's it's very, very nice. I haven't had any issues with it, and I do feel that it's really helped with the dryness under my eyes. However, at my age, 55, it is a, an area that is obviously of a lot of concern. It is drier, you do have wrinkles, at fine lines, etc., which makes it difficult when you're trying to put on your concealer and your makeup. So I really was curious to see if this was going to make a difference. And let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. I will not start using this one until I'm done with the Sunday Riley, which I should be almost to the end of it because I use it religiously. And then we'll go ahead and try this and see if it makes a difference or if it really is the same as the Sunday Riley. Also, in the comments down below, let me know what you use under the eyes. This is one of the biggest 
uh, I would say areas of concern for me at this age just because there's just a lot it takes a lot to not have those fine lines and wrinkles setting under there with the makeup okay so this is what it looks like it comes in the green glass container says La Mer in the front and it does have a dropper which is something that I do like so there it is and it is pretty much a serum that you go ahead and put under your eye evening and a morning so that is it my friends that is a my la mer haul i did receive samples from both um Saks Fifth avenue and from erin nicole from nordstrom's and i am very very excited to start trying everything That's it i just wanted to do a quick video and share this with you let's see how this high-end uh, La Mer products turn out. I hope that they are as good as the foundation and I'll probably do a short review on the foundation for those of you that may be interested and are possibly in my age range and have the same type of concerns that I do. That's it for today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the holidays and I will see you soon. Bye!